this video talks about pronoun agreement. You always need to use pronouns consistently. It must agree with the number, gender, and type of the subject. So for example, if the subject of the sentence is plural, the pronoun that refers back to that subject should also be plural. If the subject is, um, is talking about um, a group of guys, then the pronoun needs to indicate um, a group of guys. So let's look at this first example. If a student wants to study in the library at night during finals week, they must have a panther card. Well, first we need to pull out the subject of the sentence. The subject of the sentence, whoop, the subject of the sentence is student. A student wants to study in the library at night during finals week. They must have a panther card. All right, now what is the pronoun? Pronouns are things like um, he, she, they, them. So here's the pronoun in the sentence that refers back to the subject, student. Student is singular. We're talking about one student. But this pronoun is plural. So we need to adjust the pronoun to match the subject. So we're talking about one student. We don't know if, if it's a male or female student. So we're going to say if a student wants to study in the library at night during finals week, he or she must have a panther card. Or alternatively, we could say if students cross up that S. If students want to study in the library at night during finals week, they must have a panther card. In that case, students is plural, and so is the pronoun. Let's look at another example. Each member of the rowing team had to set their alarm for three in the morning. What is the subject of the sentence? You can pause your video, and I'll be here when you're done. All right, did you figure it out? What's the subject of the sentence? This one's a little bit tricky, but the subject of the sentence is actually each. Each individual member of the rowing team. So we're talking about each one of them by themselves, not as a group, but individually. Each member of the rowing team had to set their alarm for three in the morning. All right, the pronoun of this sentence is there. This pronoun is referring back to and renaming or standing in the place of the subject of the sentence. Each, we already said, was singular. There is plural. So they don't agree. How can we fix this? Pause the video, figure it out. I'll be here. All right. <clears throat> we can change this by saying... Each member of the rowing team had to set his or her alarm. If we know, for example, though, that the entire rowing team is only made up of girls, then we can say each member of the rowing team had to set her alarm for three in the morning. Or if we know it's only made up of a group of guys, we can say each member of the rowing team had to set his alarm for three in the morning. But the point is to always make sure that whatever, whatever the subject is in the sentence, that the pronouns of that subject use the same, um, the same count. So if it's plural, if the subject is plural, the pronoun is plural, and it uses the same gender. If the subject is male, it needs to use a male pronoun.